Hello, welcome back to Georgie B's Cards and Stuff. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using two new stamp sets to me. One is all wired up, the chicken wire. And the other one is... I didn't use that one. I used this one. Hey birthday chick, with this chick here. And the happy birthday. Um, I also used a die, it isn't a Stampin' Up! die, it's one I got for my birthday and it is my favourite things and it's balloons and I used this one which I've already cut out, three balloons. I just thought they were really nice and I did, then which we will colour in. And this one we fussy cut out. Um, yeah, so to make this card, I have got a card blank of uh, cinnamon cider at eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. I have another piece of cinnamon cider at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, which will go on top. I have a bit of, oh my god, what's yellow called? Bumblebee at three and a quarter by five and five eighths, and that will go like that. And then I have a piece of white card at two and seven eighths by five and five eighths, which will go on there got some scrap card for the chicken and my three balloons oh and obviously I'll get the happy birthday on there so we need to stamp on that let's put that all to the side put that up there and bring this in and our chicken in right when I ink this up I don't want the balloon I want just the chicken. Yeah, I really didn't rattle on me table. Right, now then, if I do get the balloon, I should just wipe it off like that. And then we will stamp that down there. We're going to fussy cut it out didn't bother dies for the simple fact that I'm sure it won't carry over if it does carry over then I might think about buying the dies right so we've got to colour that in and with my Versafine we're going to stamp the happy birthday I'm just going to stamp that there. Not worry really about over stamping it because I'm going to cut round it. Clean it off. Right, so now we're going to do some colouring. I'm going to bring a, bit, a scrap paper in for when I colour these balloons. So with this chick, I need a red. I need to colour in his. Forgot what this thing's called on his head. It's coloured in anyway. Whatever it's called. Right, I've got pumpkin pie for his feet. Where do you belong? Here. I have got crumb cake for his body. Let's see if the brush end works.
We'll keep his wings white. And then with cinnamon cider, I'm just going to go add some colour on the markings on the um, body. Just go over it all. Just like at the end of his feathers. And then a the crumb cake again, I will blend it in. My corn cake's running out. You can hear some rattle, can't you? It's my pen is rattling. This is it's a marker, it's ivory, just to blend that in a bit. There we are. There's our chicken coloured in and we leave it like that and what we will do is um, cut it out. I'm just putting some of these pens away. Oh no I need that and I need that and I need that. Putting some away that I need still. So, with our balloons, I'm using the rest of the ink colour. So, this is Magenta Madness. And just colour it in. There's one. This one is just jade. I'm 
making sure I go right to the edge. It's just jade and the last one is misty moonlight. I can safely say I've used all five ink colours on this card. Then put away. That's all. The room's done. Hmm. See a bit on this one I missed. That's the edge of it. Right. With my scissors, we're going to fussy cut out these chickens. Chicken. I didn't go too fussy on the chicken legs or feet, should I say? This design is actually out of um, the catalogue, just with my special twist on it. Right, there's the chicken. Now for the happy birthday, all I did was just cut round it. I'm actually sitting here with my tongue out, or I was. Right. Cut around this Y. There's our happy birthday. So, get rid of that. Now, what we're going to do is stick these balloons on his tail with a bit of glue. Oh, I know what we haven't done. We'll do that in a minute. And then, Stick these on either side of the blue one. That's 
opposite like that and this will get stuck on top of the balloons right they all need dimensionals on so put one on each balloon one over the for the background move that over there and our oh I've only gone and stamped on the background bit so what I need to do is cut this at two and seven eighths Which is that is too small, isn't it? Yeah, let me go and do it properly on my big machine. Them bits are cut off for um, scrap. Right, we need to bring in the chicken wire stamp. I'm not going to take it out of its box, I'm just going to use it in its box. So, with cinnamon cider ink, I'm just going to ink it up in the middle. Then I get my scrap of paper and take off a layer of ink lay my card down and pick up the ink and there we have it inked off oh you can't see it can you There we are. That's the stamp put away. Now we can work on putting. I'm going to turn that up that way. That will go on there. Right. Let's start sticking down our paper. Oh, close this up. Right, leaving a nice border on each side. that and then we'll stick this on the cinnamon cider piece again leaving a nice border on each side And then we shall put this on our card piece.
Right, there we are. I'm going to pop my lid on my glue. All I've got to do is take these backings off these dimensionals. And just pop our chicken. Now, and then a bit of glue on the sentiment and place that across the balloons. So it's straight, that's it. There you have it. Oh no, no, no. With a white gel pen and put on just a little like half moon to give the balloons a kind of shine. Can't see it. See the like a kind of shine to them. And that is our card for today. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you can you will get notified, hopefully, from YouTube that I've uploaded another video and that will be on a Monday, Wednesday or Friday. You can share this video with all your friends and of course if you want you can case my videos. I keep getting asked and that's why I put them out there so people if they want can copy them. All I can say is thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.